Hello everybody, my name is Martin. Welcome to today's practice. Today's practice, full body vinyasa flow, really to help ground our energies down, to root us a little bit more with the earth here today. As always, with a vinyasa flow, our breath may escape us. We may feel a little tired. It's a perfect chance to take a child's pose, a perfect chance to really focus in on that breath and bring it back to calm because our breath is our most important thing in our practice here today. Remember the mat, it's a journey. We don't judge ourselves, we appreciate. We love every moment, every breath, it's always a gift. All right, so let's start today. Nice, comfortable, cross-legged seated position. Connect the thumb and index finger. We're gonna place the palms face down on the knees as we close the eyes. Before you control, before you do anything, take a moment to bring that awareness inside. Really letting go of the thoughts. Maybe they're in our mind, it's all right. We're just noticing our body. We're gonna start today with a little pranayama, a little version of samavritti to ground our energies, to bring a little peace into the body. So sealing the mouth. Let's begin to start with the ujjayi breath. That's the slight constriction of the back of the throat. You hear a beautiful sound of a wave as an ocean. As you inhale, as you exhale. And what we're gonna do is we're going to inhale to the count of four. We're gonna hold to the count of four. Exhale to four. Hold once again for four, and then just repeat this cycle. And don't worry, I'll count, so you just follow along with me. Starting with our inhale for one, two, three, four, and hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale for one, two, three, Four, holding, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, and hold, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one and hold, three, two, one. One more cycle, inhale, three, two, one, and hold, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one and hold, three, two, one. Just resume normal breath for a moment. Noticing the feelings, the sensations. Maybe the body feeling a little bit different than when you just started moments ago. And now sealing our lips, cultivating that ujjayi breath, bringing the palms to kiss, holding them heart center. Set an intention, a dedication for today's practice. So important, this intention, this dedication. It serves as a root, another grounding factor in our practice. It serves as this anchor. Your mind, it's going to wander. Bring it back to the sound of the breath. Bring it back to this beautiful intention you set here today. Thinking hard about that intention. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale it out the mouth. Releasing it out into the universe. Sealing our lips. Ujjayi breath starts. Eyes flutter open. Inhale, palms reach up to the sky. Clasping the hands. Reaching up through those palms. 
lengthening all the way from the palms, down the arm, down the side body, consciously rooting into those sit bones. Can you feel the earth beneath you? Bring that mind, that awareness down into those sit bones as you lift the palms a little higher. Inhale. Exhale, palms coming behind the head, resting the head back like a pillow, elbows out to the side. Really open the heart, shoulders roll back. As you root into the sit bone, can you lift a little higher through the crown of the head? Nice big inhale. Exhale, twisting from the torso to the right. And keep lifting up through the spine, awakening that spine with a nice gentle twist here. Trying to keep those elbows nice and out to the side. Inhale, crown of the head lifts a little taller. Exhale, coming back to center. Inhale, fill the body. Exhale, twist over to the left. And keep those sit bones rooting down. Remember that awareness, always down, connecting into the earth, whatever touches the ground. Very good. Open that heart, big breath in, crown of the head reaches up. Exhale, coming back to center. Palms behind the hips, fingertips face forward. With an inhale, lift the hips, rolling the shoulders back. We can relax the head back if it feels all right on the neck. Root down through those palms, through the feet, lift up through the heart. Very nice. One more. Inhale, lifting the body a little higher. Exhale, lower the sit bones down to the earth. And with the palm by palm, we walk the torso forward. Lengthening out through the tips of the fingers, crown of the head reaches forward as we fold from the hips. Bringing the forehead as close as we can to the earth, wherever we are. Remember, there's no judgment here. Each practice, each time we step on the mat, it's different, and we cherish this journey we have here today. One more. Inhale. Exhale, palm by palm, walking the torso. Nice upright position. We switch the rotation in our feet, opposite foot in front. Palms behind the hips, fingertips face forward. Inhale, hips lift up, shoulders roll back. Breathing deep. Connect into the earth as you breathe right down into the center of the heart. One more. Inhale, lift the body a little higher. Exhale, hips return down and palm by palm we walk the torso. Forward as we fold from the hips. Crown of the head reaches forward. And then we bring the forehead as close as we can towards the earth, breathing space into any tension. Can you bring your mind, your awareness into any tight area? Use the breath, guide it. Our breath, it can release, it can slowly open, unlock that tension and turn it into life energy, prana. One more, inhale. Exhale, palm by palm, torso walks. Nice upright position. We roll over the knees as we come into a nice neutral tabletop. Palms right underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, fingers spread nice and wide. Root down, grip the mat, find that connection with the earth. With an inhale, we drop the belly, we lift the hips, the heart, and the gaze. Shoulders roll back. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away, gaze towards your belly. Inhale, belly drops, hips, heart, and gaze lift, root down into the fingers. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away, gaze towards the belly. Inhale, belly drops, hips, heart, and gaze lift, taking the next few, now your own pace. Letting your breath flow with the rhythm of your body. We always let that breath start the movement. And we link breath to movement in our flow here today. We link it from the beginning of the movement all the way till we get to the end of the movement. And 
And next time you return to that belly dropped, gaze lifted position. Let's tuck the toes, float the knees off the mat, shins, hips up and back. First downward dog of today. First downward dog, we pedal the feet, wag the hips, we slowly invite movement into the muscles. Fingers are wide, palms in line with the shoulders, root down into those knuckles. We want to alleviate pressure on the crease of the wrist. We don't want to dump down into that wrist. We want to reach through all areas of the hand. Feet in line with the hips. And can you slowly extend the right heel a little further down? Left heel extends a little further down as we come into a moment of stillness in our downward shaped V, in that downward dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Very good. Thighs engage, kneecaps lift, bending the knees, gaze towards the hands, sink the hips back, root through the fingers, lengthen out through that body. Foot by foot, walk yourself up to the front behind the palms. Big toes kiss. Inhale, halfway lift. Nice long spine, fingertips to the earth, maybe the shins. And exhale, forward fold. Crown of the head reaches down. As we root through the feet, inhale, rise vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly coming up, maybe a nice bend to the knees. Pressing into the earth, we reach up once we get to the top, we watch the palms kiss. Exhale, hands down to the heart. Samastitihi, lift the toes for a minute, root down all four corners of the feet. Feel the connection into the earth, bring the toes back down. Inhale, palms reach up, watch them kiss overhead, lengthen through the shoulders. Exhale, folding at the hip, Uttanasana, crown of the head reaches forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, thighs are strong, reach that heart forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, holding our first high plank here, palms right underneath the shoulders, fingers wide. We could always drop the knees if it feels better. We could always drop the forearms if there's any pain in the wrists. Wherever we are, our bodies engage, our belly tucks in, thighs are strong. Root down through the balls of the feet as we press into the earth. Feel the mat through all ten fingers. Very good. With an inhale, shifting forward on your tippy toes. Exhale, halfway down, Chaturanga, and we're going to hold here for five. Shoulders in line with the elbows, legs are strong. Two, one, tops of the feet go down, arms extend, shoulders stack over the wrist, up dog, very good, exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, five long deep breaths, breathing deep, inhale through the nose, breathe it all the way down to the heel. Root down into the earth, through the palms, extending up through the tailbone. As the thighs engage, our kneecaps lift. Visualize that breath, every inhale, that fire inside you, it grows brighter. That fire, that agni, it creates the prana, the life force, the energy to flow through the body. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands, step, jump, float, walk our way to the front. Big toes kiss, inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold, inhale, rising a little faster now. Watch the palms kiss overhead as you extend through the body. Exhale, hands to the heart, Salmastitihi. Time to do that sequence, breath to movement, Surya Namaskar A, saluting the sun. Inhale, arms reach up, watch the palms kiss overhead. Exhale, folding at the hip, Uttanasana, crown of the head reaches forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, thighs engage. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, reach the heart forward and through. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Gazing to our hands, step, jump, float our way to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. 
rooting through those feet, inhale, rising up, maybe tiny back bend at the top as the palms kiss. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, thighs engage here, root through the feet. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga, our elbows hug into our side body. Inhale, up dog, thighs are lifted, heart rolls open. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog, and we hold. Holding it here, five nice long breaths. Remember, wherever we are, we focus in on the breath. The breath, it calms the body. Even science shows when we keep the breath calm, it tells our body everything's okay. It relaxes the nervous system. So no matter what situation you keep calm breath, your body, your mind it becomes calm. Bending the knees, gazing to the hands, step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, root through the feet, inhale, rise up, feel the energy through the body, up to the palms as they kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart, Samastitihi, bending the knees, Ukatasana, chair pose. This is our little invisible chair here. First take a peek down, can we see the toes past the knees? If not, the shins, the hips, they scoot a little further back. Belly tucks in, thighs engage. And we want to lengthen from our hips through the spine, reaching up with the crown of the head as our arms are reaching up, pinkies wrap forward, shoulders down the back. If our shoulders feel a little tight, we can always extend the arms forward. Very good. Lift the toes for a minute. Feel the connection, all four corners of the foot, that grounding sensation, even though gravity pulling us down, can you energize, feel the energy coming up through the feet, through the body, up to the head. Very nice. As we root down through the left foot, right foot floats off the mat. Very good. Energize that left leg and stepping all the way back with that right foot into a nice running lunge here. Low running lunge, knee right over the ankle. Maybe we come up to the fingertips. We open the heart, shoulders out to the side, pressing back through that right heel. Long, smooth breath. Very nice. Right knee drops, knee in the front stays stacked over the ankle. Inhale, we rise up. Arms are up, shoulders down the back. Very good. Left hand grabs that right wrist. And we reach up and over to the left side. Lengthening, but engage the legs. Feel the earth. Remember, connect down every asana that we do here today. Whatever touches the earth, First you root down, you feel that connection, then we use our breath here, and we put the body in the most optimal position. Very good, one more, inhale. Exhale, coming back to center. Clasping the hands, point your fingers to the sky. This is called Kali Mudra, gazing up towards the hands. Option one, we stay here. Option two, we lift up and back. Rooting through the feet, engaging the right glute muscle, breathing space down the right side of the body. Long, smooth breath as you lift up and back through the heart. One more. Inhale. Exhale, coming to center. Release the hands, frame the front foot. Extend that front left leg, toes flex back. Inhale. Lift the body, lengthen it over this front leg, and exhale, forward fold. Front toes flex back. Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. 
we can always scoot the hips further back, a little more stretch. Keep that left leg strong, that thigh engaged, those toes flexing back. And do you have sensations in the body? Bring awareness to that sensation. Use the breath. Guide it. Direct it. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. Front foot comes down. Back toes tuck. Knee comes off the earth. Right hand inside that front foot. Bring that left knee right up in towards that armpit. And then left arm reaches up to the sky for a twist. Back leg is long and strong. We could always bring it down. It feels better. We want to try and stack the shoulders the best we can. Very good. Breathing, lengthening the crown of the head forward. One more, inhale. Exhale, top hand comes down. Shifting the weight over that front leg, float the back leg up. Now we're coming into our Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Palms press, bringing them to heart center, lifting the heart. Back leg is flexed, toes pointing down. Find stability by engaging that left leg. We want to try the best we can from the heel all the way through the spine. Nice straight line. Very good. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Right foot meets the left. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Long spine. Grabbing opposite elbows. Bending at the knees. Resting the torso on the thighs. Nice little ragdoll pose here. Feel the feet connecting into the earth. Begin to rock from side to side, flowing with the breath. Remember, when we align that breath to the movement, we really create the space in the here, in the now. We find the present moment. Coming back to center, extending the legs, releasing the hands. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Checking those toes. Maybe we lift them. Maybe we find that four-corner foot connection. As you lift up through the spine, our belly tucks in. Very nice. Inhale, left leg floats off the mat. Right leg is strong. Feel the connection into the earth. And then we float that left foot back into a nice running lunge. Knee in the front stacks right over that ankle. Lengthen through the body as you flex down through that left foot. Maybe you come up to the tippy fingers and we lift the heart. The tippy fingers, that's a new one here. <laughs> Breathing deep. Very good. One more. Inhale, strong left leg. Exhale, left knee comes down. Arms lift up. Very good. Modified crescent lunge, Anjali Asana. Front knee right over the ankle. Arms are up, shoulders down the back. This time, right arm grabs that left wrist. And we scoot that left wrist over to the right. Trying to keep our shoulders nice in line with the hips, but we're just moving them over to the side. Reaching up with that wrist. Feeling that stretch throughout the body, all the way down into the earth. Very nice. Coming back to center. Clasping our hands, pointer fingers to the sky, Kali Mudra. Maybe we stay here. Maybe we lift up and back. Lifting up through the heart. Energizing the legs, rooting down. This time engaging left glute muscle. Breathing space right down the front side of the body. One more. Inhale. Exhale, coming to center. 
Release the hands, frame the front foot, back toes tuck, knee comes off the earth. Left hand right inside the foot. Bring that right knee up in towards the armpit the best we can. And then right arm reaches up to the sky for the twist. Very good, shoulder stack, left leg strong and engaged. Long, smooth breaths. Breathing down towards the heel. One more, inhale. Exhale, hand comes down, frames the front foot, weight shifts forward. We float the back leg up, bringing palms to kiss heart center. As we come into our Vira Bajrasana three, warrior three. Right leg strong, it's engaged. Really try and lengthen out through that back heel. Nice long leg, engaging that right leg, finding that rooting down. Very good. One more, inhale. Exhale, left foot meets the right and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, heel toe the feet right in line with the hips. We're gonna take our index and middle finger, wrapping them on the inside of the big toe thumb, on the inside of the big toe, thumbs to the outside. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. And exhale, forward fold. Crown of the head reaches down, elbows out to the side. Parangustasana. Keeping the thighs engaged, kneecaps lifted, Elbows reach out to the side as the crown of the head reaches down towards the earth. <sighs> Keeping our breath smooth. Can we gaze up towards the navel, lengthening the neck? <sighs> One more, inhale. Exhale, halfway lift. Nice long spine, bend at the knees. And we're taking our palms face up, sliding them underneath the soles of the feet so the toes come right to the crease in the wrists. And with an inhale, halfway lift. We could stay here. If we can extend our legs, we go there. Exhale, forward fold. Crown of the head reaches down, elbows out to the side. This is called Pada Hastasana. Our feet, our padas, they're on our hands, our hastas, creating this closed circuit loop from the palms up into the legs all the way through the body and back down again. Thighs are strong. Use those palms. Can you reach the crown of the head a little further as the elbows go out to the side? Very nice. One more. Inhale. Exhale, halfway lift. Release one hand at a time. Very good. Bring the big toes to kiss. Exhale, forward fold. Root through the feet. Inhale, rising all the way up. Watch the palms kiss overhead. Exhale, hands down to the heart. Samastitihi. Inhale, palms reach up. Watch them kiss. Exhale, folding at the hip, Uttanasana, thighs are strong. Inhale, halfway lift, a nice long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows hug in. Inhale, up dog, press through hands and feet, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Spinning our right foot at a 45 degree angle. Step the left foot right up behind that left palm. Knees right over the ankle in the front. And with an inhale, you rise. Vira Bhadrasana one, warrior one. Left hand down to the left hip, pull it back. Make sure both hip bones face forward. Then our arms come up, shoulders down the back. Really squeezing the inner thighs together. Lengthening up through the spine. Keeping that right leg nice and engaged. Beautiful. Using the breath. Remember, connect down into the earth. Maybe you lift the toes. Feel four corners of the feet rooting down. One more. Inhale. 
Exhale, open up into Warrior Two, Virabhadrasana Bhadrasana Two. Hip opens to the side. We lengthen the stance, front knee over the ankle, and the back foot is at a 90 degree towards the back of the mat. We open the heart. We sink down, arms are at a T, and you gaze over that middle finger. Shoulders relax down the back. Palms flip up for a moment. And keeping our shoulders exactly where they are, flip the palms back down. Breathing deep here. One more. Inhale. Exhale, front leg lengthens. Very good. Stepping the back foot a little bit closer by one step. Inhale, arms to the T. Exhale, shifting forward. Reach till you can't anymore. Front hand comes down to the thigh, the shin, the earth. Back arm comes up to the sky. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Shoulders stack, gaze towards that top hand. Back legs long and strong. We're breathing deep here. Imagining those shoulders are resting on a wall behind you. Very nice. One more, inhale, exhale, top hand comes down, bending into that front knee, shifting forward over that front leg, coming back into our warrior three. Left leg is strong, right heel pressing back. Now open the heart, shoulders broad. Find stability, find a point, a drishti. Everything seems to disappear. One more, inhale. Exhale, right foot steps halfway back. Front leg extends, fold the body over top of that front leg. Keeping the left thigh engaged. Breathing deep as you reach down with the crown of the head. Root through those feet. Find connection. Remember that earth we're rooting down. Very nice. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to the hips. Rise. Nice straight spine. Inhale. Arms reach up. Exhale, folding at the hip, hip, reaching forward with the arms. Pulling that left hip back, reaching forward with that right arm. And now we bring it down to the earth, inside or outside the front foot. Opening the heart towards the left. And then we reach that left arm up to the sky for our twisted triangle. Pavrita Trikonasana, pulling back through that left hip. Very good. Breathing deep as you reach the crown of the head forward. Inner thighs squeezing together. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Top hand comes down. Front knee bends. Stepping back. Nice high plank. Halfway down. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. Press through hands and feet. Open the heart. Exhale. Over the toes. Downward facing dog. Bringing the knees down. Hips sink back, arms extend forward. Nice little child's pose. Coming back into the breath. Remember, connecting to the earth. Feel the weight beneath you. Feel that forehead as it roots down into the earth. We feel our body begin to sink, begin to absorb this calm. Very nice. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Rolling up. Everybody meeting back. Downward facing dog. Hips up and back. Very nice. Left foot spins 45. 
right foot steps right behind that right hand knee over the ankle in the front inhale you rise front knee is bent we've got a nice 45 degree angle from the knee we're pressing back through that left heel right hand down to the right hip pull it back both hip bones face forward arms come up shoulders down the back Virabhadrasana bhadrasana one opposite side Can you feel the earth beneath the feet? Can you visualize that breath moving through the body all the way down through the legs? One more. Inhale. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Front knee right over the ankle. Beautiful line from the front heel in the front to the arch in the back foot. Arms are at a T. We gaze over that middle finger. Sink down. Find a balance, strength and comfort. Tummy tucks in. Keep the spine long. Maybe a smile on the face. Very good. Front palms flip up. Bring those shoulders down. And keeping the shoulders right where they are, bring the palms to face back down to the earth. Very good. Long, smooth, calm breath. Inhale, front leg lengthens, stepping the back foot just a half step forward, keeping the arms at a T, big breath in. Exhale, shifting forward, reach that front hand till it can't go any further. Front hand comes down to the shin, earth, thigh, back arm reaches up to the sky. Triangle pose, Trikonasana. We want to lengthen both side bodies here equal distance. We don't want to be crunching down. Reaching forward, shoulders stack. We gaze up towards that top hand. Front thigh is engaged. Rooting through the big toe pinky in the back. Very nice. One more. Inhale. Exhale, front knee bends. Bringing both hands down to the earth. Back heel swivels up, we shift forward, and we come back into our warrior three. Palms press, holding heart center. Back heel extends back, breathing deep. Nice straight line, the best we can from that back heel, all the way through the head. Find that gazing point, what we call that drishti. Bring all the awareness, all the focus there as we feel the earth beneath the foot. One more. Inhale. Exhale, stepping halfway back. Front leg extends. We fold over that front leg. Front leg nice and long. Gazing towards the foot. Pada Drishti. Keeping the nice straight spine. Long, smooth, calm breaths. Maybe we sink a little closer towards that leg. One more. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the hips, rising nice straight spine. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reaching forward, nice parallel line to the earth. Taking the right hand, pulling the right hip back, reaching forward with the left hand. Now left hand comes inside or outside the front foot as you twist the heart open to the right. Pavrita Trikonasana, twisted triangle. Top arm reaches up. Open that heart, stack the shoulders. Legs stay engaged here. Very good. Breathing deep. Can we connect down into that hand, into the feet? Feeling that rooting, that grounding down. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Hand comes down. Front knee bends. Stepping back. High plank. Halfway down. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. Thighs are lifted. Roll the heart open. 
Exhale over the toes. Downward facing dog. Bringing the knees down, hips sinking back. Arms extend forward, child's pose. Connecting once again to the breath. Connecting to our mind, to this journey. Very nice. One more. Long breath in. Exhale. Palm by palm, gently walking the torso to a nice upright position. We come on to the knees. So our hips stack right over the knees, shoulders right over the hips. Taking the palms to our lower back, rolling the shoulders back, lifting our heart up towards the sky. Gentle back bend here. Keeping those hips pressing forward. Breathing into the space right in the center line of our body. One more. Inhale. Exhale, rising all the way up. Taking another one of those. This time option to take it a little deeper into our Ustrasana, our camel's pose. We can tuck the toes here to bring the heels a little bit higher and keeping the palms on that lower back, lift up with the heart, press the hips forward and we could stay here if we want or we want to take our camel's pose. We can take one arm reaching back for that heel, keep those hips reaching forward and then we take the opposite arm reaching back for the heel. Shoulders roll back. Remember, connect into the earth here. Every pose, feel the strength beneath you and now use that breath, guide it, open the body. Very good. Wherever we are, palms come back to the lower back. And we rise all the way up. Very good. Folding at the hip, coming back into a child's pose, helping release maybe any little tension that happened to form in our back. Rooting down through the body. Very nice, palm by palm. Torso walking our way, nice upright position. We roll over, feet extend now to the front. Come into Dandasana staff pose. Maybe taking a little bum out from either side. This really helps root the sit bones down. Front toes flex back, palms by our side as we lift up through the heart. Shoulders are broad, legs engaged, press into the heels. Try and root the back of the legs down into the mat. Little to no pressure in our hands, keeping the shoulders nice and broad. And chuck, tucking the chin slightly to keep the neck long. Very good. Inhale, arms reach up. Reaching for the toes, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Keep reaching forward with the heart. Keeping the thighs strong, toes flexing back. Gazing towards the feet here, Pada Drishti. Very good. Can you engage the core? Try and reach the heart forward a little more, but keeping those legs strong, toes flex back. Very nice. One more. Inhale. Exhale, rising all the way up. Bending the right leg. Bringing that right heel right outside the right hip. Front toes flex back. 
So we're gonna be gently bringing our palms behind the hips and we lean back. Maybe this feels like enough. Maybe we wanna take it a little further. We can come down into the forearms. Keep that front knee the best we can pressing down into the earth, front toes flex back. This feels a little too easy. We can also bring ourselves all the way down. Resting the back down. Keep those front toes flexing back. Finding space with the breath. If there's any pain in the body, we come back up. Be no pain in the yoga. There we go. One more. Inhale. Exhale, making our way nice and back up. Extending that right leg out to the front. Maybe giving it a nice little wiggle. Then we bend the left knee. Bring the left sole of the foot outside our hip. Hip bones trying to root down the best they can. Front toes flex back. Palms behind the hips. And we relax back. Maybe here, it felt too easy. We can go further back onto the forearm. Maybe if we took it all the way down on the other side, we can do so here. Remember, both sides are different inside our body. We always do the best to balance out each side. to a double fire log or double pigeon pose. We're gonna bend our right knee, bring the shin nice and parallel to the front of the mat, flex that right foot, left leg comes on top, flex the left foot, bring it right behind the knee, trying to bring this knee right over top of this ankle. And we could stay here. This is option one. If this feels like enough, perfectly fine. Option two, we begin to walk the heart forward keeping the feet flexed. Really reach out through the heart, crown of the head reaches forward. As we focus on the breath, we breathe down through the body into the hips, rooting ourselves into the earth. Do we feel sensation here? Where in the body where can you bring the breath, that awareness to? Taking one more long inhale. Exhale, walking the torso, nice upright position. Right hand to the outside of the left knee, left hand behind the hips as we twist over to the left. Keep reaching up through the spine, crown of the head tall. With every inhale, a chance to gain space, length through the body. Exhale, we get a little deeper. And try and keep both hips firmly rooted on the earth, really twisting from the torso here. One more breath in. Exhale, coming back to center. Releasing the legs out to the front, taking fire log, opposite leg. Taking our left knee, bending it, bringing 
that shin nice and parallel to the front, a little bit away from the body. And we flex the right foot. We bring it right over top, resting it right behind the knee, trying to bring this knee the best we can over that ankle here. Maybe we stayed here, option one. Maybe we took option two and we walked palm by palm that torso forward, lengthening through the body, through the crown of the head as we fold at the hip. Maybe this side a little different. Maybe we feel a little different sensation. That's all right. Breathe deep, root down. Remember, connect into the earth, that pose. We start with the foundation, the part touching the earth. We use the breath. We guide our body, most optimal position here. Keep those toes flexed. Remember, protecting the joints in our knee. One more. Long breath in, down the spine, connect into those sit bones. Exhale, palm by palm, walk the torso up. Left hand outside the right knee, right hand behind the hips as you twist to the right. Opening that heart out to the side. Inhale, you lengthen up, reach through the crown of the head. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Very good. One more. Inhale. Exhale, coming back to center, releasing the legs out to the front. Come into Paschimottanasana a little deeper this time. Extending through the legs, toes flexing back. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reach for the toes. Maybe we grab the toes. Maybe we can clasp at the wrist. No matter where we are, it doesn't matter. There's no judgment. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Toes flex back. Crown of the head reaches forward. Thighs are strong, pressing down through the legs. Remember, if we grabbed our knees, our thighs, our ankles, it doesn't matter. Yoga is not about how far we grab. We watch those sensations, whatever the body gives us today. That is what is supposed to be on our journey. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, reach the heart forward, belly strong. Exhale, fold in a little bit deeper here. One more. Inhale. Exhale, rising all the way up. Coming into Padmasana or Lotus Pose. Taking whatever foot feels better on top. We bring it up into the navel and then we bring it down right into the crease, right between the leg and the hip. Taking the opposite foot up, we reach up and then we scissor the knees together, really helping those feet come up a little higher. And if this is too much for us today, that's okay. We can take a nice cross-legged easy pose. It's up to you. Reaching behind the back, grabbing opposite elbows here. If that's a little too much, we can also just do a little fist bump behind the back. Roll those shoulders back. Inhale, lifting high through the head. Exhale, folding at the hip reaching the crown of the head forward and then bring it as far down as we can, sealing in the benefits of our practice here today. Trying to keep both hips really rooting down the best we can. Try and lengthen those tailbone down into the mat. And shoulders roll back. Breathing space into the heart. Very good. One more. Long breath in. Exhale, rising all the way up. And we extend the legs out to the front. And we engage the belly. 
as we slowly roll back one vertebrae at a time, bringing our bodies all the way down into the mat, letting the palms face up as we come into our last asana here today, maybe opening the legs, finding a nice comfortable position. And we start this favorite pose of mine by letting go. Let go of the control of your muscles. Let go of the control of your breath. We let our breath, our body, come back into its nice, its natural, calm state. With our eyes closed, that awareness inside. Feel the body as it really begins to sink into the earth. Starting at your ankles, to your knees. Our thighs, hips connecting down deeper into the earth. Backs of the shoulders, the arms, the back of the hand, feeling it as it rests down into your mat. Relaxing the muscles in the eyes, the nose, the mouth. As we make this time and this moment here, it's all about you with a calm body and a calm mind. Shavasana. Starting to take deeper breaths, breathe life back into your body. We 
wiggling the fingers, the toes, as you slowly invite movement back into your muscles. Reaching the arms up and overhead, nice morning stretch, lengthen through the arms, pointing the toes. Gently floating the knees up towards the heart as you roll to the right side, cradling the head with the bottom arm. We close the eyes as we come into a moment here, a moment of gratitude. Start by thanking yourself. What is important? Tell yourself, thank you for taking the time today, for doing something that was good for my body. Telling yourself, Thank you for taking the time today for doing something that was good for my mind. And then you think about two things, two things that you are to do truly, truly grateful for today in your life. And you think about two things today in your life that you are just truly, truly grateful for. And when you're ready, keeping those eyes closed, that awareness inside, make your way back up to a nice, comfortable, cross-legged seated position we connect the thumb and index finger, place the palms down on the knees. This really roots our energy down through the base. It connects us a little more with the earth, grounding us. We take one cycle of breath here. Bringing the palms to kiss, heart center, Anjali Mudra. I'd like to leave you guys with a quote here today. The man who moved mountains started one little stone at a time. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Let's seal our practice together with an Om and three Shantis for peace. Feel free to clear your throat. A nice big inhale for Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. A little smile on our face. Loka, Samasta, Sukhi no Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. been an honor and a pleasure and I thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out. Subscribe to my channel. New videos uploaded every week. I hope you guys enjoy and have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you.